Welcome, Adores. Now that you've learned about Timesheets basics, let's get into the management side. So we'll learn a little bit about the Timesheets application configuration, and we'll also discover how to motivate your employees with the Timesheet leaderboard. Let's get right into it. So first up, let's open our Timesheets application, and we'll head into configuration and settings. From here, we can set up some options. So first, we can decide if we want our time to be encoded in days, uh, days and half days, or in hours and minutes, like so. And then I can also specify the time rounding on my timesheets. So imagine if you launch a timer and you only have the timer on for, let's say, 10 minutes, it can be automatically rounded up to 15, as this is the minimum that it really takes to properly get settled into working on a certain tasks. So uh, I will actually keep it as it is on min minimum duration of a timesheet is 15 minutes and the roundup is also 15. Next up, I have my timesheets control section. So since my employees can be a little bit forgetful uh, with filling in their timesheets, I will set up a reminder to be sent for them uh, every uh, month. At the end of every month, after uh, one day, they will already get reminded to log any missing timesheets. Then I could also set up the same thing for the approver. In this case, I will leave it uh, as it is since I'm the approver and I will not likely forget about that. Perfect, that's done. And then we also have the billing rate indicators uh, section right here. So I will enable the billing rate indicators and I will also, excuse me, enable the billing rate leaderboard right here and I will save my settings. Now, after this is saved, it allows me to configure the employee billable time targets. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this is. And I will take one of my employees, let's say Natalie here. I will go into her work information tab, uh, excuse me, into her settings tab. And here we have her uh, billing time target, which is a new field that just showed up. And I will set up her billing time target to 50 hours each month. Since I know that Natalie is actually quite busy working with some internal non-billable projects. So she will only be able to work about 50 billable hours a month, and that's a good target for her. However, if I look at my other employee, Guillaume, right here, I know that he has quite a lot of time on his hands this month. Um, so I will set his billable hours target to uh, 100 hours per month. And here I also have the field where I can specify the hourly cost of my employee. This is something that's useful for later um, cost analysis of profitability of my project. We have a video about that in the project section, so you can check this out. But for now, let's uh, go into my timesheets since the uh, billable rate target is all set up now. So you can see that the billable, uh, the leaderboard has actually showed up here. When I'm looking at my own timesheets, I can take a look. In the meantime, I will just go into all timesheets and I will say that Guillaume uh, logged five hours on this uh, day right here. And I will go back into my timesheets to take a look at the leaderboard. So if I click on it right here, I can see that of my, on my billing rate leaderboard, which is the one uh, that uh, we're interested in right now, Guillaume has 15 hours so far. So he's obviously at the very top of the leaderboard. And then next up we have Mike. However, if I switch the view to the total time leaderboard, we actually see that Natalie, who's been working quite a, while, quite a, lo a lot, has already logged 100 hours. However, since she's working on our top secret internal project, she's not showing up in the billable uh, leaderboard dashboard. That is a great way to celebrate the top performers. Uh, by the way, this quote on the side, where does it come from? So those little tips that you can uh, see right here uh, are just something that you can set up to motivate your employees a little bit more or share any useful insights. So we can easily add one by going into configuration and tips right here. We have all of the existing tips. I can create uh, a new one. Let's say, you go, Tiger. And just like that, once it's saved, it can it will be uh, randomly displayed on the leaderboard, and it will change every day. So that's it for timesheets configuration and the leaderboard. I hope it was useful for you, and I look forward to seeing you in another video.